<laughs> this poem is entitled Counting. To steal from the movie Mean Girls, I love math because it's the same in every language. And while it is tedious, it always has the right answer. So math is good, which in turn means counting is good. So any solution that involves counting must be good, right? My inner thoughts try to justify what I'm about to do as if it needed any more reasons. As I held the Mido bottle in my hand, I began to count. One disappointed family as they watched a leader crumble. Two grades falling below average. Three lectures on how I've changed. Four hospital bills piled up because my sister's boyfriend beats her. Five. Five lies of I'm fine. Really? Six seconds to decide if I really want to do this. Seven to realize it doesn't matter anymore. Eight fights with my boyfriend because I don't have time for him. Nine overwhelming moments of hopelessness. I stop. There's no more capsules of escape in the box. And the side informs me I'm not supposed to exceed eight in a 24 hour period. I laugh. So much for directions. A horn honks and I walk away away from the pain, away from that moment of fear-driven self-hate, and I think I've gotten away with it, I think I'll be fine, but reality is a destroyer of dreams. Then fear sets in, and I begin to count again. One foot won't follow the other as I fall to the floor, two sets of feet hurrying to see what the noise was, three siblings missing their sister as my eyesight fades, four cousins crying as they see me lying down, Five hands shaking me awake, screaming. Six pleas for help. Seven prayers of God for me to wake up. Eight reasons to never wake up again. Nine arms cradling me, holding me, as the world is lost to me. I wake up in the back seat of my aunt's van. I sit up, my head still spinning, ready to accept my reality. She looks at me. I had passed out. I was dehydrated. Yes dehydrated must be i've escaped with my life and as much as i love counting i realize all i ever needed was one one person to realize what had happened one talk of how it's going to be okay one place that is safe from this reality one person to hold me and protect me from myself one hope my phone vibrates a message from my mom you all right sweetie do I haunt her with the truth, breaking the already fragile bond of trust between us? Or do I hide another piece of me until I'm gone completely and never be able to trust myself? I'm fine, Mom. Really, I'm fine. <laughs>